സിപിഎം ജനറൽ സെക്രട്ടറി സീതാറാം യെച്ചൂരി മാധ്യമങ്ങളെ കാണുകയാണ് തത്സമയം degree of an understanding and an agreement can be reached in order to eliminate the scourge of cross border terrorism emanating from pakistan that is causing havoc in our country we are very concerned also of the fact that now many border villages have been asked to evacuate and uh, the evacuation process is on the state administration and the others have actually decided to take this measure this is the agricultural season and many villages leaving the leaving them and evacuating means a lot of uh, dislocation and a lot of loss for the for the farmers of these villages whose so main livelihood is agriculture so some uh, alternative uh, compensation for them will also have to be considered by the governments since it's being done by both uh, the state and the center because village after village around the border is now being asked to move out so all their land on which they they have now planted everything is the peak season now after these uh, for a change we had a good fairly good monsoon so after that so now that has to be compensated and how that is to be done the government will have to take a call so this is what uh, as far as this is concerned and let's see pakistan is in a state of denial over what all <laughs> what all happened and now what what they will say that we'll have to wait and see how things will move but the paramount interest should be to protect ourselves our lives of our people and their security from cross border terrorism right so as far as the other uh, issues are concerned we see a a very very dangerous uh, situation as far as the economy is there in these uh, few months before we go into the beginning of the next fiscal year already we have been informed yesterday that more than 2/3 of the fiscal deficit target has already been exhausted no normally in any financial year in the last 3 months when the massive dose of expenditure takes place when all the sanction budgetary sanctions are actually realized so if 2/3 is already over that means we are moving into a situation of a fiscal deficit which will be much larger than what has been planned now this is serious because there have been a series of hikes in petroleum products one happened yesterday again all the benefit of the international fall in the crude oil prices was not passed on to the consumer but it was collected by the government as revenue this is a windfall revenue for the government in spite of this windfall revenue if there is a fiscal deficit of this mar- i mean quantum that means it's a lot of uh, no serious economic consequences for the people which means developmental activities whatever is there for the people that will be very drastically cut already rega wages are not being paid in many places rations are not been given because they have been linked to the aadhar card and the aadhar card doesn't recognize the fingerprint in many parts the hooks about the janthan yojana accounts that is that is already been exposed everybody knows unemployment is rising the government itself has admitted in parliament last year they generated only 1.35 lakh new jobs when 1.3 crore new youth joined the job market this year forget the backlog it's only 1% of the new youth that have joined rise rise all of us know industrial index of industrial production was negative in july minus 2.4 or something index of manufacturing is minus 3.3 capital goods which is the base on for the future of the economy that is machinery production of capital goods declined by 29.6% minus 29.6% so that means a period of 
high unemployment, high inflation. The burdens on the people, that is going to mount. So we are preparing ourselves to launch big struggles on these issues, directly going to the people. And that is the implementation of what we decided in the Golgotha plenum of the mass line of the party. That is on these issues of the people we will initiate our movements. On the other hand, we are also very concerned about the communal policy.